Yang. I'm working at MUB's company, Incorporated. Uh, we're doing Samsung Lens. Um, some companies are also producing for H&M. Ann Taylor, there's Gap, there's uh, Adidas. Sara, Ralph Lauren. But do you know for which brands of phones? Uh, I would like to tell that Filipino people are not stupid. This is our own country. So don't act like this is your county. This is Philippines. exclusive um, um, areas for foreign investments and they, they receive a lot of um, incentives from the government. The investors in, in, in these economic zones are Korean, Japanese, uh, Americans, Europeans. Filipinos don't really benefit from that because everything will have to go out. They have their own government inside because they have their own administration, they have their own uh, police force. And the type of companies? Mostly garments and electronics. They only produce parts of the, the electronics products. They don't, really, they don't really produce the whole thing, but only a part of the electronics. So there's no transfer of technology. We don't really learn uh, anything from manufacturing these products. Working condition is very bad. Um, it's very hot inside the companies. Um, they, 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 don't, they don't have proper uh, protective uh, um, clothes. I'm working 12 hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Every day you work? Yeah, every day. Um, normal working hours of work workers here in the export processing zones is 12 hours a day. So there's already 4 hours overtime. Okay. And do you do overtime? Yes. yes. Every day? Or? Every day, yes. Oh. Very long uh, overtime, 5 hours. And um, you don't have any uh, holidays? Yeah. No, we don't have holidays. You are allowed not to go to work or not to report to work on Sundays and even on holidays. But this company is uh, giving suspensions and termination to the workers because of being absent on these days. They don't, they don't have proper uh, protective masks. To, to protect themselves from the fibers and the dust and uh, chemicals also. They could not relate or link their sicknesses or illnesses to, to their work. Has there been any accident in the factory? Yes. Many. 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 Like this one. We have a lot of uh, welding, uh, fiber from the grinding so we inhale it we have a we are not safe inside because we were lack of a what you call PPE the personal protective equipment for us uh, companies where workers are not are not being regularized so they work for in contracts, so only for five months. And sometimes it's less than five months. But if there's no need for that, if the, 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 the production is already done, they just fire the, this worker. So sometimes the contract is just one month. Can you tell me how much is your salary? It depends on evaluation and your performance. Yes? 
So it can change every okay. month? Yes. Uh, depends. All of the operators is the big of the difference of salary because we'll be conduct the evaluation of supervision. If you supervisor, you supervisor, you in your you high evaluation. Mm-hmm. If you you tight down supervisor, you tight down evaluation. Like me. Like me. Yeah. Ah, uh, you pay. You pay me. You pay me. You down your supervision. If you close, okay, give you. That's the system. So now the minimum wage is three hundred forty-four pesos. Um, but the cost of living uh would cost us one thousand ninety-seven per day. Uh, are lacking of financials. Lacking of food, uh, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard for us uh, that every day we think how how we feed our family, uh, where we we get the money to to take our children to the to the school. Benefits that it bring to the workers. Um, union is uh, for protection of the rights of the workers. I think the ultimate aim is to collectively bargain for uh, with the employers or with the with the owners of the companies. So through this uh, through this uh, scheme, uh, workers are being a- are able to get. Um, additional wages and other benefits from the companies. Before no union, no risk, all operate, all workers, but with the decree no union, we the risk of Sunday. Actually, uh, union busting is very common in, in, in the economic zone. There is this unwritten no union, no strike policy. The status of union in Gabiti, we decree to harass me. We decree to union, we decree to harassment. Anything or all harassment. And which, uh, the union has a lot of members. Are you growing members or people are afraid? Or... As of now, we are growing. Yeah. 30%. Um, actually, in some companies, uh, they are being told that uh, you're not allowed to form, to join unions. A lot of these workers also are young, so they are more afraid and they are more uh, more submissive. People afraid of going into the union? Yeah, actually yes. Because uh, the reason why, um, if they know, the supervisors know that you support or to our union, then he get personalist also. That's why uh, they cannot, they don't want to form unions. started forming the union, immediately the company offered voluntary separation pay for the workers. Uh, they don't want the separation pay. They want to have the union and they want to continue working in the company. So after that, in June 6, the company massively dismissed uh, 87 workers. Uh, their dismissal is illegal and so because it's illegal, they have to be reinstated by the management. Na patuloy na nagpapagamit sa mga kapitalista! Kaya ang muli namin sigaw! Di nanggal na manggagawa! Di balik! Di balik! We started yesterday 
we launch a we launch a picket uh, at the street don't afraid to fight because this is our right every one of us has a right to fight so don't be scared We sleep here. We sleep at the own man-made tent. We we unite to create a tent for us, so we will sleep at night and still continue our fighting for. We are here to fight for our rights, not only for ourselves, but also for our family. We just want to return. That's why we are on the street launching this protest. We don't want to pay us. All we want is our job that will not support only ourselves, but support our family for a long period of time. Again, we'll ask for all your support. And we hope that this problem will be solved between the union members and our management of CNF Manufacturing Philippines Corporation. And also, we would like to thank our foreign supporters that came here in Philippines just to support what we are fighting for. Again, we are fighting for our job and for our family. Thank you.